Hi, I'm Aaron Chatfield with me tonight from Row Steve and we're here at the Macron Arena in Bolton, Lancashire, home to the Bolton Wanderers and also home this evening to a night of exciting mixed martial arts action. This is Full Contact Contender 11. So we got 21 bouts ahead of us, an amateur card featuring five championship bouts and our professional main event card including top of the bill We've got Ali Insane McLean facing off against Brendan Lochran, the current lightweight champion for Brendan's lightweight belt. Steve, really good card this evening. What do you think about that main event? I think the main events are fantastic. You know, Brendan's on a tear at FCC. You know, he's, his performances have got better and better, and now arguably facing the toughest opponent, yep. uh, barring maybe Mike Wilkinson. This is a real test. It's a pick and fight. Ali McLean brings it. Can't wait. Five rounds of action for sure. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, but. You know, 20 other bouts on the card. Give me some of the highlights. Well, I got to go a little further down the card, looking at some of those ba the bantamweight amateur title. Uh, Robbie Fallon, Ben Dearden. Oh, these these guys can both go. Both of them are hungry for the title. This is going to be a really exciting fight. One the fans are going to have to pay attention to. Yeah. Kane Musa. You know, yeah. Coleman, 5-0, and oh, that Kane smash has echoed through this place a bunch of times. And again, a, a win here, it's got to put him in contention. You know, people are already talking about him, and a big win here for Kane. And of course, Harry Marple. You oh, know, 11 and 0 11 amateur. 0 amateur. This guy is unbelievable, and he's making his pro debut here tonight. I mean, a great signing for FCC. Let's see if that transition comes as easily to him as the amateur did, because this kid is exciting. A name for the future. I'm a big Dirty Harry fan, to be <laughs> honest. So there you go. 21 exciting fights on the card. Right now, we're going to hand over to our MC this evening, the one and only Jonathan Millard. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment. You've all been waiting for, for those here in attendance and those watching around the world. This is your main event of the evening. A professional bout to be fought in the lightweight division. So this is the one I have been waiting for, the main event, which is brought to you by Heavy Duty Fight Gear. Check them out, heavydutyfightgear.com. And this really is a true main event in style. The FCC Lightweight Championship. And a challenger making his way to the cage. A true veteran of the sport, 13-7 record. Representing Team Cowbon, Ali. Insane McLean. I love this guy. <laughs> this is, you know, when you get fighters, you get guys who you just think, do you know what? One career you've got in your life, this is it. You're a fighter, absolutely born and bred to be a fighter. I mean, scary looking individual, committed, strong, fit. Out of his 13 wins, 11 of them have been within the distance. The guy knows how to finish a fight. And, and you know, you, 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 you say 13 and seven, but a couple of those losses, you know, they're questionable at best. You know, he performed really well at the Aeon tournament against Artem Lobov, and that's a huge scalp for anybody to have. Judges didn't see it that way, but I think most people in attendance saw it as a fight that McLean won. This kid is for real. Yeah, I was there on that night. I was the MC on the evening. Um, I seem to remember, you know, as the fight went down, I thought it was close, I thought it was challenging, but I think I thought it was McLean as well, you know. So he wasn't happy about coming out of there with the loss. And, uh, you know, now he's focused on this championship bout. He's got a tough opponent in Brendan Lockrain, but um, McLean has the experience, he trains with the right people, and boy, does he come focused. I, I love that look in his eye, that determination. Uh, this is it. Oh, we've been saying it all night, but how excited are you to see this fight? Hey, you know what? I've been waiting all night to get to this main event. On paper, this looks like a barn burner and a half. 
Brendan's on a, you know, he's, he's got a, a couple of real solid wins here at FCC. He's the defending champion. You know, he, he comes in here now. I, I know that he, want, he wants to take this, the next step in his career. And he sees the FCC title, another defense here. And then who knows, you know, I know that there are other organizations that are looking at Brendan. I even believe he's signed, but I'm not about to drop it because it ain't fair. So we know that, we know that the top European promotions are interested in this kid. He's got a real tough opponent in front of him, but if he comes through this, you know, I think Brandon Lochnane is on the road back to where, you know, his name became, you know, from that tough series. It, let's not forget it. Him and Mike Wilkinson had a hell of a fight that could have gone either way. I know Lochnane wants what Wilkinson has. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, you mentioned Mike Wilkinson's name. Obviously putting on great performances now in the UFC, but also both of these guys faced off against Mike Wilkinson. Both of them have picked up losses against Mike Wilkinson. They share that. We go back to the MMA mass bit, it never adds up. <laughs> I don't know what that actually means, but it's an interesting fact on the list. Absolutely. Ali's got that Vandalay Silva kind of stare, doesn't he? He looks through you. He's looking. He had such focus and commitment. As I say, I, you know, I could think of no other career that Ali McLean can do. <laughs> Literally, you look at him and go, you're a fighter, yeah? You know, straight, straight away. He's built like a fighter, he's strong, he's muscular, he's compact, he looks like a fighter. I mean, he's got a mean-ass stare on him, as you say. I wouldn't want to be stood in a cage, looking at him on the other side, thinking to himself, well, any second now they're going to lock that door and he's going to try and tear my head off. And, and, and yet the Predator, you know, the Predators have been saying about Brendan, they have never seen this kid so focused, never seen him so committed to his training. He's got beast-like strength now, apparently. He's going to come in here. And, and, and i got to say, his physique looks better as well. This is a kid, he never, he never looked out of shape, but he's starting to get more definition. Strength and condition is paying off. And again, this is a kid who's at home in the cage. Yep. So, ladies and gentlemen, we come to our main event of the evening. Our judges this evening, Mr. Liam Khan, Mr. Dan Hall, Mr. David Leatherby, official timekeeper, Kath Hall, and our referee in charge of the action, Mr. Neil Hall. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is full on action, full on drama, this is full contact contender. to this one the, the atmosphere in here is tangible huge amount of support here for lock name as you'd expect yeah this is going to be amazing nice sharp hands he threw that jab out didn't find his mark the right hand did though and switched to a southpaw stance and claim counters with that i'm looking high for the body. right kick i would say lock name has the edge in striking fast hands 
And I think probably the secret here for McLean is to is Ooh. to take it to Tredgy to land in a beautiful left hook then. Good knee to knee through the middle to the body. Yep, great head control from McLean. We mentioned that earlier on in the evening. And he's putting it to great use here. Oh, <laughs> looking for the uppercut on the, uh, getting out of the clinch was, was laughing there. Big inside leg kick. Some really good exchanges here where you've seen one guy go for the kick, the other one counter with the right hand. Side kick to the body there, follows it up with another inside leg kick. Both of them. McLean already looking a little bit marked up, actually. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, a little bit of a mouse starting up over that left eye. Oh, another side, side kick, kick through right to the bread basket. You don't see side kick used in too, by too many fighters, but Glock Lane really makes it pay off. He's quick with his striking, sharp, and he, he hits and he moves. There's some weight there to, to get a, a, a crack back, you know? Good couple of good shots landed by McLean then, though. And McLean stalking his opponent here. I can't quite work out what McLean's game plan is at the moment. You know, he's getting to the clinch, but it separates very quickly. Not gone for a takedown. Yeah, so, an economy of movement from Brendan as well. He's not wasting anything. No. He sets himself, throws his shots, pivots off to the left or to the right, oh. for, and he's gone. Yeah. He's not there for the counter, and that's the secret to being a good striker. Good left hook there. Nice, nice kick, teak up the middle. <laughs> it's a bit of a striking school so far. This. Another beautiful straight. McLean bleeding in the lip. A cut over his left eye. Nice left body hook landed by. And then, as Lock you nine. said, he steps out of the way of the kick before it's there. Another beautiful straight. This is a great performance so far from Block 9. I mean, McLean's in the fight, but Block 9 just seems to be teeing off, landing quality shots and then moving out of the way. He's not, it doesn't really seem to be getting in too much danger. Nice. Stiff jabs all the time. He's really relaxed and then he just stiffens up at the end of it. He punches through with that jab, doesn't, doesn't yep. stop. He puts it through. But McLean again, a, a, a beautiful straight hand there by McLean. Yeah, there was a great right hand counter from uh, from Lock oh. on the end of it. McLean looking for that guillotine position. He tries to throw the right knee as well, but Lock gets his head out of the way. Yeah, had two on one on the wrist, and he pulled his head out. Lock also got a good good level of skill just to get himself just slightly out of range. The shots come in from McLean, and Lock just li literally just dips back by. You know, an inch or two. And if you say, you know, take a, you know, the, the starting to welt up the inside of, of McLean's legs, going to limit his movement. You usually see more of that on the outside, but he's using those inside leg kicks to great effect. Yeah. And actually, you feel it more on the inside. You, you know, it, it, it really starts to deaden your movement. Oh. Nice. McLean's looking cut up here. He's not, you know, they're not bad cuts, but it's in his eyebrows. He's got his lips slightly gone. And this is where I expected McLean to be taking this fight, to try to press up against the cage and look for the takedown. Nice knees, trying to, trying to stay busy through. But uh, Brendan, you know, nice escape. And back to the center of the cage. And quite possibly this is the best lock name performance I've seen so far. He's not got himself in any trouble whatsoever. He just picked him off from the outside, you know. I, I, and that's what a fighter should be doing when you're getting up to this level. You should be in a position where you can handle your opponents by saying, do you know what, it's, it's going to be my game. I'm not going to let myself get into trouble. Always busy off. Uh, if they break from the clinch, he's the one that's firing first. Yep. Ten seconds left in this round. Ali trying to press forward. As I say, you can see where the shots have all landed. Excellent first round for out of Brendan Lockton there. You know, Ali in the fight, but it clearly, clearly Brendan's been using footwork, and he, obviously he's got some power, even in just those jabs, he's, he's marking them up. Great, entertaining, no man. 
Yeah, I mean, McLean is he's tough. I know he's tough. I know he could take these shots. He could probably take them all day long. But what you're seeing with the sort of damage in the eye, the lip going, etc., from a, from the position of a judge, you can go, do you know what? I can see those shots are landing. I can see damage being done. And, and therefore, Lockdown's just picking up the points, picking up the points, picking up the points. It looks composed. He doesn't look tired. You know, he's starting to sweat. He's breathing a little bit heavier, but it, 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 I think that round, the pace that he set there suits him, and I, and I would guess that he could probably maintain that pace for the whole of the fight. Yeah, I would absolutely agree. Cardio's never been an issue for Brandon. Yeah, and I think maybe McLean needs to try and push that a little bit because he doesn't want to be facing somebody who's perfectly in the comfort zone. Here we go for round two. Yeah. Nice. He swapped to southpaw, then throw the... The lead right hook, he's gone back to an orthodox stance now. That inside kick as well, nice counter from McLean. Probably the best shot of the fight so far for him. I suppose you're always opening yourself up with those leg kicks to, for the counter if you're not quick. You know, you, you, know, that, you know that you need to yeah, you, you keep your guard up and cover, but in the heat of action, it's very difficult to keep yourself completely covered. Nice shot to the body there, good hook. Oh, oh the oh, yeah, that, that that's that. Yeah, he's doing it. It's, that, do you see how quickly he got back up? In the and he's swarming over him now. This is coming to the end now. No, no. The ref didn't stop it. The ref yeah. did not stop it. Oh, he's got he's got too soon. Ali is out on his feet here. Yeah, Brendan, the ref's going to dive in a second. He's giving him every second. And he he's done it. And Brendan locked in with the KO win. And I tell you what. Without a doubt, McLean got every benefit of the doubt he could possibly have then. Plenty of time to recover. The referee did him as much as he possibly can. But still, you know, Lockdown did not let up. Almost a, almost a dangerous moment when he didn't follow through. But then after that moment of hesitation, finished him off. A fantastic title defense by the champion, Brendan Lockdown. Absolutely fantastic. Now, Ali McLean, as tough as they come, We've seen him fight with some of the best in Europe, and Brendan Lochnane absolutely school made sure that that first round was all his, and the second round he finishes it off. Absolutely fantastic performance by Brendan Lochnane. Again, the medics in just making sure that Ali's all right. That, Two, two fighters come together. What a great fight. Brendan could could be the best performance in FCC that Brendan's given thus far. Alan McLean again. You know, this guy's been in there with some of the best in Europe. It just shows it just shows that Brandon Lockman gets better and better every time he steps into the cage. What a fantastic performance. Let's turn it over to our MC, Jonathan Millard for the result.
C11. I gotta say, you know, you're looking at a fight card there. It looked exciting from day one, and we've gone through every fight. Both of us have been sat here getting more and more excited, and then to finish off with that title shot, as far as I'm concerned, the best Brendan Lockname performance I have ever seen. You know, he used timing, footwork, power. He, uh, yeah, you know, I got to admit, I, I might have been picking against him at the start of this fight. I don't think I'll ever pick against Brendan Lockname again after that. You know, that was a professional performance as well. Didn't take any unnecessary risks, took no damage whatsoever. He could probably go and fight tomorrow if he wanted. And that's taken nothing away from how game Ali McLean is. But Brendan rocked him, rocked him off, and holy crap, what a performance. So, there was other fights on there. We've seen some knockouts, seen some submissions. Anybody else that you think really stands out? Well, you know, Martin Stapleton just proved once again that he's at the top of the heap in the, uh, at the lightweight division in, in the pro scene at UK MMA. I want to, I, I, you know, I could go all the way through those title fights. Robbie Fallon and uh, just the slickness of his jits, you know, under a minute. And, and again, against a tough, credible opponent, not somebody that you would expect to yeah. walk over. So I'm a big Robbie Fallon fan. I was confident when he was coming into this bout and he really delivered. The other guy that I was looking forward to seeing making his pro debut, Harry Marple. Oh, and he delivered the goods. Absolutely. Kane Musa, Kane smash in a different way this time. Getting the sub against the guy that gets subs. I mean, that's another string in his bow. How good could Kane become? And, uh, you know, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, Kane and Brandon look to have such a tight relationship that. Maybe that's a UK dream fight that we'll never get to see. Yep. But good Lord, Kane Musa has made another statement here tonight. What a, f uh, you know, let's go all the way through that. You know, the fighters tonight, not one of them should walk out of here with their heads down. The amateur undercard. Uh, you know, I want to swear, flip me. <laughs> what a fantastic night of fighting. So I got to calm you down because you'll go on about this all night. So that's been FCC 11. To me, one of the best fight cards they've put together. All that we can do is hope for, when we get to March next year, the promoters put together another exciting fight card. We'll be back then. I've been Aaron Chatfield. I'm front row Steve. Can I quickly just give a shout out to FCC for giving the opportunity for us to do this. I'm living the fanboy's dream. Thank you, boys. And we'll see you in March. <laughs>